Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have swatches to share with you from the Dawn Diva. This is her releases for December 2019. In this video there are going to be 16 polishes that I have to share with you. Two are thermals, two are solar polishes. There is a topper and loads of unicorn pee. All of these are available for purchase on her website right now which I'm going to have linked for you down below. I'll also link my Instagram page down below where you can check out a ton more swatches. So let's just jump into this. And the first polish that we're gonna have a look at today is Planet of the Grapes. Planet of the Grapes will be available for $12 and it is described as a purple polish that has copper, bronze, and gold UCC flakes running throughout. Uh, one thing I did not mention earlier was that all of these polishes are one and done. So once they sell out, they will not be restocked. But Planet of the Grapes has a wonderful formula. This is also their group custom. I forgot to mention that as well. I'm forgetting a lot today. But this is the Don Diva group custom, which I will have linked for you in the description box below. So if you're not a member, you can kind of head on over and join. The formula on this is wonderful. It went on smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. I had no running or pooling and there was no staining. Also, nothing in there will be difficult to remove and nothing in there is going to dry with texture. So you're looking at three coats of Planet of the Grapes and Don Diva's very own A Quickie Top Coat, which is very fast drying and very glossy. So while you're over there, check that out as well. And next up is 24 Carrots and Peas. This is going to sell for $22 and this is the topper of the collection. I'm sure you're sitting there right now thinking $22, wow, why? That's because this is loaded, and I mean absolutely loaded, with the original rare OGUP, the original Unicorn Pea Pigment, and the gold leaf is actually 24 karat gold leaf. This is a beautiful. I have it shown here in one coat over black. The formula was excellent. It went on smooth and even. Um, I actually prefer it over white. Timberland from Pampered Polishes has it shown over white on her channel, and I love it. It shows those 24-hour carat flakes, I think, um, a lot better than the black did. So head on over to her channel and check it out so you can fall in love too. Next polish is Illuminati. Illuminati is going to sell for $17 and it is described as a charcoal gray based polish with the original unicorn pea that has the blue shift. It is loaded with UCC flakes in teal, pink, and purple. This had an excellent formula. It went on smoothly and evenly. It glides on the nail very, very nice. Stays right where I put it the um, it's not going to dry textured and it's not going to be difficult to remove I had no staining I was able to reach opacity in three coats and my swatches are going to show you three coats of Illuminati and a glossy top coat Next up is Evil Candy Canes. Evil Candy Canes is going to sell for $17 and it is described as a dirty red jelly base with fiery orange UCC flakes and red to green original unicorn pea running throughout. This polish is beautiful. My photos do not do it justice. It's like lava. Um, it had a wonderful formula. It glided on the nail smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. I did not have any staining. I didn't have any running or pooling. It is just all of Don Diva's polishes are just a joy to work with. I, I really enjoy the formula that she has. The um, removal is also going to be easy. Everything you see in there are flakes, so nothing is going to dry down textured. That's going to be difficult to remove. My swatches here are three coats of Evil Candy Canes and a glossy top coat. This next polish is Slay Hello to My Little Friend. It is going to retail for $17 and it is described as an indigo jelly polish with a red to green original unicorn pea hollow flakes and micro hexes running throughout. This polish has an excellent formula. It goes on very smoothly, very evenly. It does not stain. It is not going to be difficult to remove. It stayed right where I put it. I was able to reach full opacity of this in just two coats. So my swatches are going to show you two coats of Slay Hello to My Little Friend and a glossy top coat.
Next up is La Bufana. It is going to sell for $17 and it is a thermal polish. It is magenta when cold and it shifts to a red when warm and pink when hot. So it's a tri-thermal. It is loaded with the original unicorn pea in the blue purple sister type of unicorn pea. The formula on this was excellent. It went on very smoothly and evenly. I was able to achieve full opacity. What just happened? Uh, okay. For some reason, I accidentally inserted my top coat clip between coats one and two. Please ignore that. It should be here that I'm applying the top coat. Um, so I was able to reach full opacity in two coats. It had a wonderful formula. It went on smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. I did not have any staining. Nothing is going to be difficult to remove. And it was a very uh, reactive type shift. So it's very fun to play with. Uh, it does dry down matte in its original state. But if you don't like that, just throw on a glossy top coat. Next up is Smirks and Smiles. This is going to sell for $13 and it is described as a turquoise jelly based polish with heavy UCC flakes in purple, red, pink, and blue. It is also loaded with Aurora pigment that shifts and shimmers. The formula on this was excellent. It went on very smooth, very evenly. It stayed right where I put it. I did not have any staining with this. It um, is not going to dry textured and it won't be difficult to remove. So my swatches are going to show you three coats of Smirks and Smiles and a glossy top coat. Next up is Gravy, not Sauce. It's gonna sell for $17. This is a thermal polish that shifts from red to pink. It has a very healthy, heavy helping of that green to gold unicorn pea pigment that is going to shimmer for you at every angle. This had a lovely formula. It went on very smooth, very evenly, stayed right where I put it. Um, I went in with thin coats to start, so I was able to build up to a full opacity in just three coats. I topped it off with a glossy top coat and nothing in there stained me and nothing in there is gonna be difficult to remove. So what camp are you in? Do you say gravy or do you say sauce? I actually say both. Um, sometimes I'll find myself calling it sauce and other times I'll find myself calling it gravy. But one thing I do always say is the brown stuff is always gravy, like gravy fries. I always say the brown is gravy, but I will use it interchangeably between the red stuff. Did I just say the red stuff? Tomato sauce. All right. Next up, we have a solar polish, and this is called Solar Butterfly. It's going to sell for $13, and it is a light teal blue-green with a jelly-like base. It has crystal flakes with copper gold green shift running throughout. I was able to show this one with the solar shift on the middle two fingers, so you'll see it's outside in the middle two finger and the color that it looks inside on the out outer fingers on my final swatch but the formula on this was excellent it went on smoothly and evenly it stayed right where i put it the solar shift on this was a lot more reactive than the other one that we're going to look at the solars are kind of fun but they can be a definite pain in the butt to swatch because i swatch at night but there are those flashlights that you just saw me use that you can get on amazon which definitely makes it a lot easier the next polish that we're going to have a look at is the other solar. It is called Flustered Over Spicy Mustard. It's going to sell for $17. And it is a solar polish that is described as a spicy mustard color with UCC copper orange red flakes and the original OGUP in red and green. This one gave me a bit of trouble keeping it in its state. It just constantly wanted to shift to the indoor state, but I was able to quickly snap a photo. So same as the other one, my middle two fingers are going to show what it looks like outside. My outer fingers are going to show what it looks like inside. For me, this was excellent. It went on very smooth, very evenly. It was opaque for me in just two coats and nothing in there is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. So my swatches are Two coats of flustered over spicy mustard and a glossy top coat.
This next polish is Show Yourself. It's going to sell for $17, and this was inspired by the movie Frozen 2. It is described as a lilac jelly-colored base with the original unicorn P that shifts red, green, and gold. Also, it has UCC flakes in teal, purple, and pink. This polish has a wonderful formula. It is a bit sheer. It goes on... I show it to you in three coats, but it applied wonderfully. It stayed right where I put it and was not difficult to remove at all. Um, I was not able to achieve full opacity with three coats, um, but if you check out the Don Diva's website or if you go over to Pampered Polish's video, she has this shown over both black and white. Over white, it has a little bit of a lilac tint, and over black, those that unicorn pea really pops. It's really beautiful. So go check it out. But my swatches are going to show you three coats and a glossy top coat. Next up is Head Concho. Head Concho is going to sell for $17 and it is described as a tan nude polish with original unicorn pea that's with the red and green shift. It is also loaded with copper, red, gold UCC flakes and a nice helping of hollow flakes. The formula on this was excellent. It goes on very smoothly, very evenly. It stays right where you put it. For all the flakes that are in here, nothing is going to be difficult to remove. It may dry a bit textured because it's got a lot going on in there, but it's not the kind of textured that is going to give you any difficulty upon removal. I was able to achieve full opacity in three coats. So my swatches are going to show you three coats of head honcho and a glossy top coat. Next up is Beer Bongs and Bentleys. This is going to sell for $17 and it is described as a blue gray base with the original unicorn pea, hollow flakes, and a pinch of micro hexes. The formula on this is excellent. It is a very opaque color, so I would recommend a base coat in case you're more prone to staining. It did not stain me, but everybody's different. So just to err on the side of caution with more pigmented colors, I would always recommend a base coat. But the formula on this was excellent. It went on very smoothly, very evenly. It is not going to be difficult to remove, and nothing in there is going to dry textured. My swatches are going to show you two coats of beer bongs and Bentleys and a glossy top coat. Next up is Don't Eat Yellow Snow. Don't Eat Yellow Snow is going to sell for $17 and it is described as a white curly polish with the original unicorn pea that shifts red to green to gold. There is also delicate hollow flakes running throughout. You're going to notice that when I started off swatching, I started with a base coat and I don't usually. That's because my nails are stained and since this polish is like a, a white snowy type color I was worried that the stained color of my nails would peek through and alter the final color of my photo. Um, I however did swatch this on my thumb and I was pleasantly surprised to see that it did not have any effect. My nails, the stain of my nails did not have any effect. The polish was opaque enough that not, it didn't shine through, which I was pleasantly surprised. This polish also blew me away with its formula. It was excellent. It went on smoothly and evenly. It was not thick or thin. It stayed exactly where I put it. It was easy to remove. What you're looking at here is it on my thumb with um, out the base coat underneath. So that's still three coats. And as you can see, you the polish covers whatever staining I might have had. Um, so that was three coats of Don't Eat Yellow Snow and a glossy top coat. The last two polishes that I have to share with you today is Don Diva's Star Wars Duo. These polishes are sold only as a duo. The duo is going to retail for $25. And the first polish that I have to show you is R2 Diva 2. And it's described as a light blue curly with teal, red, purple, and pink UCC flakes running throughout. The formula on this was excellent. It went on smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. I didn't have any running or pooling. I had no staining. It may dry a little bit textured, but it's not going to be the textured that will give you a difficult time upon removal. It One coat of a glossy top coat will smooth it right out. So my swatches are showing you three coats of R2 Diva 2 and a glossy top coat.
And the last polish is Obi Wanna Blow Me. And it is a blue base that's filled with original unicorn pea, tons of hollow flakes, with various hollow hexes in a deep blue base. This polish is gorgeous. You know I love blues, so you know I love this duo. I don't know anything about Star Wars, so I just love the duo for its for the polishes themselves. This goes on very smoothly, very evenly. It stays right where I put it. It is very opaque, so you might want a base coat if you're prone to staining or just to err on the side of caution. But nothing in there is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. My swatches of Obi Wan to Blow Me are two coats and a glossy top coat. And that wraps up the Don Diva of December 2019 releases. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what your favorite is. Tell me what you're going to pick up. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.